Hey everybody, it is Yishan here in today's video, which is a very special one. I am partnering with Konami to tell you about the 2023 Yu-Gi-Oh! World Championships. Now, this video is going to be about an alternate way to get yourself to the Yu-Gi-Oh! 2023 World Championships, and that is the Master Duel route. Now, you may ask Yishan, Aren't you a creator in the trading card game space? Now, I, of course, have made Master Duel videos before, but primarily a lot of my videos are based on the trading card game space, and you would be right. But Konami wants to partner with me, and, and, I, and I really believe in this too, and show you another way that you can qualify for the World Championship. I think it's great because the truth is, is that qualifying for the TCG World Championship can be extremely difficult. Not only that you have to be a fantastic player and an excellent player you've also got to travel a lot right and some of us just can't do that right and i want all of my viewers to have a chance at qualifying for worlds because i mean i've talked to people that have qualified for worlds before and they just say it's legitimately some of the best experiences in their entire life and you can do it from your home on your couch or anywhere honestly anywhere and I think that's what's so great and I want to bring this opportunity to you what are we going to talk about in this video I'm going to talk about why I actually play both Master Duel and the TCG now I also want to talk about what kind of stuff you can expect right we all do love free stuff I want to talk about that as well I'm going to talk to you about how the qualification process works and how you get your chance to compete in Japan for the 2023 Yu-Gi-Oh World Championship it's going to be a great time. I might talk a little bit about the meta, what I expect, but we're going to have a great time. And I think you're going to really want to play in the Master Duel World Championship qualifiers after this. First of all, if you don't play Master Duel yet, let me tell you why you should and why you will want to, right? What can you get out of it? As a primarily a TCG player, what can you get out of it? Well, of course, we already covered that you can play from anywhere, which is fantastic, right? Who doesn't love that? You can play Yu-Gi-Oh from anywhere, okay? Something I love is the alternate format and ban list that Master Duel has. If I am ever feeling like I want to play different formats where maybe Thunder Dragon Colossus is legal, right? I know a lot of people love Thunder Dragon Colossus. Or maybe sometimes I want to play my Deep Sea Diva Grand Maju deck and I know it's not well positioned in the TCG meta, but it's doing really, really good in the Master Duel meta. And finally, playing Master Duel actually makes you a better Yu-Gi-Oh player in ways that playing the TCG couldn't. I, I, the proof is in the pudding. This actually legitimately happened to me. I was playing Master Duel last night and I learned this cool trick that I immediately applied to my locals today. It, it actually came up in my locals today and I was able to win the match. And basically what happened was, I'll play the clip here, I was able to use the fact that my Draglubian locked me out of special summoning and Master Duel said, hey, by the way, you can still activate Danger Bigfoot here. And even if your opponent doesn't discard the Danger Bigfoot, they'll just discard a card and you can reveal again. So basically, I was able to reveal Danger Bigfoot until my opponent discarded it or it was randomly chosen to be discarded. In the case of Master Duel, I was able to destroy my opponent's monster and then attack in for 9,000 points of damage because Draglupian only lets you attack once after you activate its effect. And, and then literally... I kid you not, today at Locals, the same situation came up. That was the only way I could win the duel. I did it. I literally revealed Danger Bigfoot like four times in a turn until my opponent's like, oh, <laughs> that's what's going on, right? And you're like, yeah, I'm actually going to destroy that monster and then attack for 9,000 points of damage. So that was honestly super cool. I love learning cool plays like that. So I actually think Master Duel can make you a much better Yu-Gi-Oh player. Now, Let's talk pricing. Everyone wants to know what you can get. If you just log on, just for logging in, they will give you a thousand gems and you'll get a Royal Rare Blackwing Full Armor Master and a Blackwing Full Armor Master icon. That's right. Just for logging on, you don't have to play a single game. All you have to do is log on and you'll get that. Okay, so once you've logged on, you know, <laughs> what can you expect in, in, in this meta, right? What, 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 what might you face now? 
there's going to be a couple of really popular strategies. I think tier elements is going to be super popular. We saw that deck do really, really well in the TCG. It's hot, new, and fresh on mass rule. I think you'll see a lot of tier elements. So if you're not playing tier elements, you should be ready to counter it. Um, I think we'll also maybe see cards like sprite decks and you know maybe even exo sister decks like i mentioned before to counter those tier element decks as you know every time a card leaves the grave the exo sister monsters will be able to trigger their effects and, and do really powerful things of course me what will i be playing <laughs> it's always going to be a rank a otk strategy you know me guys i'm always going to be queuing up and i'll be playing there i'll be i'll be dueling it out with all of you guys trying to qualify for the world championships now Let's talk how the qualification process works, okay? And it's it's actually pretty simple, but there are two stages. So you need to advance past the first stage, which is going to start May 15th, and it's going to end May 28th, okay? And basically, you need to get from Duelist Level 1 to Duelist Level 20, which is the max level. It's pretty simple. If you win, you go up in Duelist Level. Um, you know, it's a little more complicated because if you lose, you sometimes don't lose your Duelist Level. I'd recommend, by the way, if you want to read all about this, there's a link in the description, of course, with the official World Championship page. But also, if you just go into the Master Client and you go to the home screen and go to Notifications, you'll be able to read an announcement called Announcement like Yu-Gi-Oh! World Championship 2023. And you can read all about this and it'll give you a lot more details. But basically, you just need to get to Duelist Level 20. As soon as you get that, you cannot lose your Duelist Level 20. You can, you're qualified for the regional qualification stage, the regional qualifier stage. Now, that's going to last three days, May 25th to May 28th. Now, you noticed the qualification lasts all the way from 15th to the 28th. So you do want to qualify early. You want to qualify hopefully before the 25th. That way, as soon as it becomes the 25th of May, you can start the regional qualifier stage. And basically, it's very simple. If you win, you win DP. If you lose, you lose DP. These are just basically points. Whoever has the most DP at the end of the stage on May 28th is going to be the regional representative. For me, I'm in the North American region, but there's also the Latin American slash Caribbean islands region, Europe, Oceania, Middle East, and Africa is another region, Japan, and then Korea, Taiwan, and other Asian countries as the final region. So of course, that is how you do it. I'm gonna be playing for sure because the truth is, why not? Hey guys, future Yishan here, interrupting the scheduled broadcast to make a quick clarification. It turns out that actually for three out of the five major regions that this event is being run in, there will be a total of two regional representatives depending on the region that you're in. So for Japan, you also get two regional representatives. So that's first and second place advancing to the world championship. Uh, North America is the second region. That's my region that has the first and second place, both being the regional representatives, as well as the Europe, Middle East, Oceania, and Africa regions having first and second place representatives. Just wanted to clear that up. Uh, let's get back to the regularly scheduled video. And that regional representative, by the way, gets to choose two people that also made it to the regional qualifier stage to come with them. If you and your friends play, you can literally take two of your friends and all go to the world championship together. I think that is so cool. You will be on a team with the two people that you select if you do win the regional qualifier or if someone could select you, right? So just getting to the regional qualifier gives you a shot at going to the Yu-Gi-Oh! World Championship. So I'm really looking forward to it. I mean, I'm just going to try my best. That's, that's sort of what Yu-Gi-Oh! is all about. You go out there. You have fun, you duel, you try your best, and you never, ever know what could happen. Now, don't forget, even if you don't make it just for logging in, you get your 1,000 gems, you get your Royal Finish Blackwing, Full Armor Master, and the Icon to go along with it. I hope you guys have enjoyed. I think this is going to be really fun. It is the first ever Yu-Gi-Oh! World Championship for Master Duel. So I want you guys, especially you know, if you're watching this, go out there, make some history, have some fun. Enjoy Yu-Gi-Oh! Thanks for watching. Good luck in qualifying.